Hi, I'm Leanne Wooten, registered dietitian, and Alexander Family Farm has asked me to answer this question for you. Is A2 protein milk actually easier to digest? And if so, what's the science behind it? It turns out for some that it actually is easier to digest. And let's explain using a little chemistry 101. So generally in cow's milk, there are two naturally occurring proteins, whey and casein. Now whey is really easy to digest. It doesn't cause a lot of issues. So we're not gonna talk about that one today. We'll push it to the side and focus instead on casein. Now casein comes in two shapes, A1 beta casein and A2 beta casein, or you guessed it, A1 and A2. Now these proteins are almost identical in structure with the exception of one amino acid. So remember, a protein is just a bunch of amino acids stacked up on each other, connected by chemical bonds. So to explain it a little bit more, envision, if you will, some Lego blocks, okay? So we've got your A1 protein that is a red Lego stacked on top of a red Lego, then a white one, then a red one. And our A2 protein is a red, a red, a green, and a red. Exactly the same with the exception of that one white and that one green Lego. And it's that one Lego or amino acid difference that drastically changes how your body digests these two proteins. So if you consume something that has A1 protein in it, an enzyme is released and it looks for that white Lego or that one amino acid because it knows that's where it needs to go to clip it, turn it into a smaller protein so that the body can digest it faster. And that smaller protein that it produces is called beta casomorphin 7. <laughs> Say that three times fast. So it's that beta casomorphin 7, that smaller protein, that can trigger a whole host of issues in a sensitive individual, including um, bloating, irritation, uh, indigestion, stomach ache. Now the A2 protein, we consume something that has the A2 protein in it, uh, the enzyme is released, but it can't find that white Lego, so it doesn't break it off into that beta casomorphin 7. The body digests that protein in its larger form. You don't have any issues. So that's the difference between A1 and A2. Now let's take a step back, bigger picture. We're at the grocery store. Now, most of the um, milk that is produced in the United States from cows, those cows make A1 and A2 milk. So their milk has both of the proteins in it. It's called A1, A2 milk. There are some farms, few and far between, that breed their cows to only produce A2, A2 milk, like Alexander Family Farm. And interestingly, sheep, goat, and even human breast milk is mainly A2. So a lot of people will say, well, I eat that stuff and it doesn't bother me. But when I drink regular cow's milk, the A1, A2 milk, it does. And then they'll say, oh, I must have lactose intolerance. Well, it might be lactose intolerance, but it might also be the A1 protein that is bothering them, not the lactose or the sugar in the milk that is causing their GI distress. Now, that being said, lactose intolerance as well as a milk protein allergy are true medical diagnoses. So if you or a family member have been diagnosed, A2 protein milk is not going to... Uh, relieve your symptoms. It does work best for those who have been to the doctor, you have determined that you don't have lactose intolerance and you don't have a milk protein allergy. Then the A2, A2 milk is perfect for you. It's also great for those who have decided maybe I don't want to drink milk anymore uh, for environmental or humane reasons. So Alexander Family Farm actually is the first U.S. dairy farm in the United States to be certified organic, regenerative, and humane. So they have happy grass-fed cows on their pastures that are supporting a resilient climate. So really, it's a win-win-win for the environment, the cows, and for you.